Malone on the screen. Stockton to Malone. To who? Malone from Stockton, an oft-repeated phrase. <laughs> First things first, let's set a basis for why this pick and roll was so effective and it's Stockton's ability to shoot the mid-range jump shot. Watch how the defender goes underneath the screen here and they stick hard to Malone. If Stockton can't hit this jump shot consistently, there's no reason why defenders shouldn't go underneath the screen. And as you see here, when they go underneath the screen, they stick hard to Malone, which takes away that pass off option, which therefore kills the pick and roll. Now let's get into some technical reasons as to why this pick and roll was so effective. You're gonna notice how Malone never runs into a pick. He always walks into it, or he tends to do a slow job. But he said it in an interview, he does not like to run into screens, as it is an easy way to pick up offensive fouls. Also notice here, Stockton gives his defender a little dip left, set him up, and look how much of an advantage he creates there. And then he's able to get around that other defender and look for Malone on the roll. But the setup there was a big part of why that pick and roll was so effective. Unpredictability was another reason why this pick and roll was so effective. As you saw in the last clip, we saw Stockton use the setup well, and this time he actually refuses the screen, which is why he keeps defenders on their toes. They don't know which way he's going to go. This doesn't allow defenders to cheat on these screens, and when they do, Stockton and Malone make him pay for it, as you see here with the refusal of the screen. So Stockton was great at setting up the screen and also refusing the screen, which is why this was so hard to defend because he could go right or left and he could burn you either way. Another reason is the placement and location of these picks. And to go along with that, Stockton and Malone knew how to play to their strengths. Notice the location of all these screens that we've seen so far. On the left side of the court, free throw line extended. When asked about it, Malone said that they like to get to this spot because it created better angles for passes and better angles of attack. And to go along with it, it really suited the strengths of Stockton and Malone in their own personal games. Stockton was not only better at shooting going to his right, but also better at finding gaps and attacking the hoop going to his right. Malone, on the other hand, liked this side because it was better for his footwork. He was able to catch it right here, one, two, and then right above the rim with his right hand. He loved that right-handed finish like that. Also, the location of where these screens were set takes away the ability of the help side of the defender to get there as quickly as if they were going from the top of the key or from a little bit higher up. It's just all about those little advantages. The next technical reason for the success of the pick and roll has nothing to do with Stockton and Malone. Watch when the screen set, look where the other three offensive players are on the court for the Jazz. They're all on the opposite side of the court, which draws their defenders over there, which takes away help side. Look at how late the help side is here because those three defenders are on the opposite side of the court, which creates an open lane for Malone here, and he gets a good finish at the rim, all because of the spacing. But with this Jazz team, not only is it spacing, but watch when the screen is set, watch what the three other players are doing. They're not also spacing the court. They're running off screens. Look at they're setting a double down screen for a guy to come up top, which causes those help side defenders to be even more occupied on their defender, which creates more space for Malone. This is something you don't see as much nowadays in the NBA as you watch this clip from Kyrie Irving right here. Watch out here, they have great spacing freezer right here. There's three guys on the opposite side of the court which creates space for that open jump shot but if you watch it again if there was some action on the opposite side of the court that could create a roll opportunity that would be an even higher percentage shot or if he just slipped it and that help side defender wasn't there it could get an easy layup another thing that these off ball screens create for the pick and roll is another option uh, you got guys who are setting down screens they can slip those if help defenders start cheating too much you can just fire to the guy coming off the double screen it just creates more opportunities and more threats off the pick and roll rather than just stocking them alone. Now the reasons that I just talked about are all big reasons as to why this pick and roll is so successful such as Stockton's ability to shoot the ball, their ability to refuse screens, set up screens, but also a lot of it had to do with Stockton and Malone's ability to read each other and to read the defenses on the fly and switch. So a lot of credit just goes to the feel that they had for the game. That's all I got for this breakdown. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a comment and a like or a dislike if you didn't like it. Let me know what part of the game I should break down next.